Sometimes After Effects can be super slow and it's really annoying. Therefore, I decided to organize and group all tricks and tips how to improve After Effects speed and how to run After Effects much faster. And by grouping these tips, I was trying to avoid any expensive solutions like improving your GPU, your CPU and so on. This topic is dedicated especially for After Effects and some other tips that are not require any money investments. If you guys ready, let's start with the first tip. First advice is not dedicated to After Effects itself, but it's useful tip. Make sure you have enough space on your SSD or hard drive, depends what are you using. It's really important tip, because when you are lack of space on your SSD drive, everything gets super slow. Because SSD drive doesn't have enough space to operate and do their own thing. I don't have exact numbers and percentages that you need to have on your SSD drive as free space, but make sure that you have at least 5 or 10%. Next cool feature that After Effects has – Cache Frame when idle. As I understand, this feature was added in After Effects recently and it's really helpful, especially if you go to grab some coffee or you switch to browser and After Effects will use resources of your computer to cache this scene, this composition that you are working on. And this is a really helpful thing. So make sure you enable this feature in Composition, Preview and make sure that you have checkbox on cache frames when idle. Next advice is pretty obvious, but super powerful and often users forget about it. When you work on some project and you have a lot of different elements and everything gets slower, don't forget to lower preview resolution from high to second, third, even quarter, depends uh, how complex your scene is. By doing this, you will reduce the quality of the preview, but at the same time you will speed up the overall workflow and it's really helpful. I don't recommend you to use auto because uh, this will uh, impact on your caching because when you enable idle that I told you in a previous section and you zoom in or zoom out inside of your composition, this will erase cache and all caching process will start from scratch. Next tip is super helpful when you want to preview your animation and you have super complex scene and you have different elements and objects in one composition, I recommend you to check adaptive resolution and this will help you to preview the whole animation without uh, struggling and without freezing. So basically you will reduce the quality of your preview but you will be in a real-time preview of your animation. Clean cache and memory. This is super crucial, especially if you noticed that your After Effects super slow and you have some bugs, uh, glitches and maybe something doesn't show up and so on. Try manually clean cache inside of After Effects and hard drive. And to be honest, this method is super helpful and it can remove about 50% of all bugs and all problems in After Effects. Recently After Effects implemented a good feature that allows you to see what effect or what layer loads your system more than other. Sometimes it's really helpful to just turn off this layer or this effect uh, for some time when you preview your animation, when you deal with keyframes and timing and you need to be able to preview the whole scene in real time without any uh, bugs or lags. Therefore, this tip can be helpful, but don't forget to enable these effects for the final render. Divide huge project into separate parts. So basically, when you deal with a huge project and you have a lot of items and stuff inside of it, or if you use one project to store different other projects inside of it, it's a good idea to separate each uh, project to individual piece, because otherwise After Effects performance can suffer. So my advice here is to delete unused files and compositions and try to reduce the size of this project and maybe divide into separate pieces and this will help you to operate and run this project much much faster. Don't forget to trim composition. A lot of people, especially beginners, forget about trimming clips, especially if you have some precomposes that contains precomposes. Despite it's not visible for you or for viewer, 
After Effects still count on it. Even one of your layers or effects are gone from the viewer or covered by other layers, it's a good idea to trim them because After Effects still count it as an active project, as active composition or effect. Therefore, when you trim it, After Effects knows that this effect is no longer exist into this composition. Therefore, we don't need to count on this effect, so your project will be much lighter. Sometimes there is a problem not in After Effects itself, but in a pad between keyboard and chair. When you don't pay attention to organize your project well, don't name your layers and files in appropriate name, it can be super messy and it leads to waste of time just to understand what's going on inside of this composition or this project and you spend a lot of time just to try to figure out where particular effect located or what a dedicated layer does and it gets super problematic when you're trying to open the project from your old works two, three years ago. You need some time to understand what's going on inside of this project. Therefore, keeping the simple structure and organization of your overall project is super helpful tip. There are a few ways how to render final video. We can use media encoder. It's super convenient. Simply add to media encoder queue and you can set up everything inside of media encoder and render it. And here's the problem. Media Encoder doesn't use all power that your computer has to render everything out. That's why I recommend you to use second way how to render your project is to use After Effects Render Queue. So basically you will render everything out with built-in After Effects Render Engine and it has pretty much the same feature that has Media Encoder and you will speed up your render time many times. As you can see, there are many ways how we can run After Effects faster than it was before. And as a final tip I'm gonna give you is, for example, you apply some super heavy effect inside of After Effects and your After Effects is struggling to preview something and you want to turn off this effect. There is super useful hotkey called Caps Lock. By enabling Caps Lock, you will shut down the preview and you can simply disable this effect or change its value. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you find this video useful. If you have your own tips, don't hesitate and leave them in the comments. It's super helpful, not just for me, but for all viewers who will see this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next videos. Peace.